Welcome back to MS Tech, and today we'll be taking a look at one of the smallest Bluetooth keyboards I've seen myself. I was pretty surprised at the size of this keyboard and how it's even possible to have it so small. This keyboard is by IO Magic, and let's take a look to see how this thing performs in everyday use, and if size really matters. How's it going everyone, Matt here. Let's start off with an unboxing of this keyboard. Just like the keyboard itself, the box is very small and slim and overall pretty easy to open up. You just need to lift up one tab and boom, you see the keyboard, a little pamphlet and a micro USB cord. Honestly, nothing special. Thanks Matt. Moving on to the keyboard itself. I was honestly pretty darn shocked at how small this keyboard was and that it was even possible to have one this small. Build quality wise, it was made out of plastic, which is pretty expected. It is rechargeable via micro USB on the side, and you have a few light indicators on the keyboard as well. A caps lock, a Bluetooth light, a charging indicator, and a power indicator. When it came to build quality, as you can see, there's a good amount of flex, but it still stood the test. When it came to typing on this keyboard, honestly, the X type scissor angle switches aren't even that bad to type on. The footprint of the keyboard is a little bit small, but aside from that, typing experience was pretty good. Now. Moving on to the functionality of this keyboard. This is where things don't look too big for it. Now typing on the smaller size keycaps was pretty hard and your fingers were pretty darn crammed at times. But another problem was that this keyboard had no grips on the bottom, meaning if you place it on your desk and start typing, it's just going to start sliding around everywhere as if it's playing air hockey. Now a simple way we fix this problem is to have two mouse pads on top of each other in order to add a bit more grip for the keyboard. Now here's a quick sound test of the keyboard. Enjoy. After having used one of the smallest Bluetooth keyboards for a while, I can say that being able to bring this keyboard anywhere, putting it in your bag, in your pocket, you name it, it can fit there, it's a pretty cool feature. But the drawback of not having any rubber feet on this keyboard to have it not slide around all the time is a bit of a downside. But otherwise, if you're looking for a small portable Bluetooth keyboard, this is a very good option, coming in at only $30. Thanks for watching. If you stuck around till the end and like this type of content, leave a like below, it helps us out a bunch. Also, check out our channel, Tech Barn. The link to that is in the description below. All support is appreciated. This has been MS Tech, and as always, stay classy.